Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play Crestorio series. Um, last episode we built most of the copper, iron and the three main computer chips. That's what we got done, those five main elements. Um, we got the bus sorted and we started to think about the, the, the larger grand scheme of a plan. You know, where is this stuff going? What, what am I building towards? And that's kind of where I'm going with this. That's going to kind of work its way down um, and hopefully that will unlock this kind of lower, lower half of this area which I can use for factory stuff and kind of join the factory together in some kind of nice fashion that makes me happy. Um, so what I want to get on with is oh, a whole host of stuff. Um, steel, coke, um, sand, stone, glass, silicon quartz and I've even been thinking about potentially even maybe putting in rare raw metals in here as well was it raw rare metal what well, rare metals whatever it is putting that in this area as well because my original plan was to leave this as like a, a railway interchange zone and to leave it clear and i really want to try and stick to that so uh, may, uh, maybe this becomes a slightly bigger block than i originally anticipated we will find out let's start laying stuff down and see what happens <laughs> Another big batch of block of factory done, um, and it's probably worthwhile taking you through it because this is it's turned out to be a little bit bigger than I anticipated originally. So if we work our way left to right, or at least we'll start off over here anyway. So this is the steel production that I couldn't, that I didn't fit over on the other side. I mean, looking at it now, it looks quite similar slender. I could probably have fit it in if I really tried, but I moved paths and made things and stuff. Anyway, it is where it is now. So that's what steel. Um, and this is coke. Hopefully this should be enough for the steel and the rest of the factory. Then we've got stone. So if you imagine, we've got all of these train stations. So we've got a train station up here for iron and we've got a train station up here for copper. Then I'm going to do exactly the same again. I have a train station up here. Oh, there's a nice big crude oil. That's annoying. I didn't see that. Anyway, a nice big st train station here for stone and that's going to feed the stone down. That's what all of these belts are doing. And then from that stone, I need to make several different things. Most of them based on sand. And sand is one of those annoying things where it's just just so much of it that you really need to pay attention to how you're controlling the flow of it. Because if you put too much of it in a belt, it's, things are just going to break down. So the philosophy I've tried to follow is to maintain this maximum amount of this maximum blue belt. So obviously the critical belt here is the blue belt of sand so I've tried to size the factory around that single fact so what we have is we've got 18 stone coming off this conveyor belt that's going into six of these crushers those six crushers will make the 45 sand 45 sand goes into glass which makes 22 and a half it takes two sand to make a single glass so I've joined two of these 22 and a half to make a blue belt of glass and I've done exactly the same down here so I've got 45 sand 45 sand 22 and a half glass um, and that gives me this 45 belt here and obviously I'm going to have exactly the same on the south side so I've got four belts of 45 glass that's what I'm producing with this kind of left hand side of the stuff that I've got of this main belt over on the right side of this main input we've got more sand so exactly the same as what we've got before 18 stone in 45 sand out that gets put or that should get put into 10 of these filtration plants um, which produces the quartz um, I 10 I hate the number 10 it's a really awkward number to work around so I've built 12 and uh, you know you know, I think even in the most perfect of situations when I know what I'm doing, I think I'm still going to build 12 there because it just makes a lot more sense. But anyway, so those 12 um, filtration plants, they output 27 quarts. So that 27 quarts needs to go to other places in the factory, potentially. Not not a lot of it, but I've allowed for some, some of it. Um, 
and then that 27 quartz needs to be made into silicon. And what's that? It makes 13 and a half silicon. So I need a 12 um, furnaces to make 13 and a half silicon. And then I've just kind of joined them together to make the various quantities that I need around the base. Because silicon I need in a couple of different places in different quantity, quantities. So it's just a case of joining these different blocks together to achieve those quantities that I need. I mean, okay, I need five of the. I'm going to have eight of these blocks. If you can see, I've got four of them, um, eight in total. Five of them, five of these blocks need to be joined together to go to uh, uh, red chips, and three of them need to be joined together to go to other places. Um, so that I'm going to just try. That's what I'm trying to manage in this kind of area here. And then we've got stone block, which I mean, I don't really need an, an, awful, an awful lot of stone block, but I mean, I'm in the stone area. So I may as well produce it here, and I'm I'm hugely overkill. I've probably got twice as much stone block here that I need, um, but you know, even fitting two of these in with this kind of long slice was not really worked out perfect. I've got this huge gap in the middle, but it fits in there. It will do the job. Um, I'm I'm moderately happy overall with the block. In total, I'm very happy. You know, I think it looks good. I'm, yeah, I think I think it'll do the job nicely. Um, and obviously I'm going to copy this all on the bottom half at some point in time. But what I want to get towards is rare metals. Um, that's still a little bit of a blind spot for me at the moment. I need to get that down on the map so I'm, so I'm confident. My original plan was to put it in this gap here. But I think I'm just going to join it on the end of here. It kind of makes sense in my mind. Um, I think my original intention was to just put sand and stone and glass and all those things up here. So that I could expand if necessary but I think I've got enough capacity here I think I think there's plenty to be honest I think I've overdone it um, so if I I, I don't really feel like I'm gonna I, there's gonna be too many consequences of confining myself in by be, building another block of factory over here instead of building it down here because obviously if I built it down here I could still expand out this way ah, I'm gonna confine myself in I like the idea of doing it here that's what I'm gonna do that's what's next So I made that very fancy transition to get to move the camera over to this very very specific part of the map, and the intention was to to start building all of the chemistry based stuff that I was making notes for. So oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen chloride, ammonia, nitric acid, that kind of thing. Um, but I've been looking through the the recipes for oxygen, and I, I haven't really got access to it. Um, so I can do water separation. I've got access to an, an, an electrolysis plant, so I can build that. But I also want to get some oxygen through this, through the atmospheric condenser. And I can't unlock that. It's it's behind a, uh, a, uh, a science tech that I haven't unlocked and that I need to unlock at some point in the future. Now, I, ordinarily, that wouldn't be a problem. Ordinarily, I can build without having access to these di these things directly. You know, if I if I need a a three by three block of something, then I'll, I'll just build a three by three block of conveyor belts. Like that that will be my the the assembly machine or whatever it is that I need to build. You know, I, in, in Angel and Bob, there was a unit that I needed which was five by five. So I would just build in a 5x5 five five unit uh, of conveyor belts and that would be my block until I unlocked that science and I was able to replace these rings of conveyor belts with the actual assembly machine or chemical plant or whatever it was that I needed to put in its place. You know, it, it's not a deal breaker for me that, I, that this oxygen is locked behind something. The deal breaker is that I don't know how big it is. I, I don't, you know, I've never played with these mods before. Now... I suspect, if I'm going to take a wild stab of a guess, it's going to be the same size as this, and it's going to be the same size as this. That's my guess, but I don't know for sure. And I've done a Google of how big is an atmospheric condenser, and no one cares. And it's probably... 
Probably because not many people are building these stuff in their factory before they've physically unlocked the technology. Like, not many people care about that. You know, once you've unlocked it and you've got the unit, you just build it. You don't necessarily need to plan for a specific size. You just build that unit. So, <laughs> I think I might have to change my plans. You know, the plan was originally to put my chemistry stuff over here and my oil-based stuff over here. But I think I'm going to have to switch it around. I'm going to have to, now that the camera is here, and I've made that really fancy transition, and I don't really want to do it again, I think I'm going to have to put my oil here. Because that's ultimately what I need to be able to unlock this um, chemical tech card. I need the glass, which I already got set up, and I need red circuits, which has got plastic, um, and I need sulfuric acid, all of which I can get through, well, the, the plastic and the sulfuric acid I can get through oil. So... That's my route now, I think, is to build the oil um, and then start switching the factory on. Well, no, probably. Build the oil, then build some sort of, maybe even some sort of temporary. I suppose I am actually quite close to my starter base. Maybe? Oh, that would be cheek. That would be really cheeky. What if I made the oil and I just did some temporary science and I just fed it into my starter base? Yes, that would be really cheeky. I wouldn't have to rebuild any of this. I wouldn't have to plan. Because that's my ultimate concern is that I'm going to build this oil and then I'm, where, where I want a final resting place for my science. And if I'm going to start building that science, then I want it to be in the final place. I don't want to build some sort of temporary setup. So if I build some sort of oil here, I don't really know what I'm doing. Where would I put, where would I put science? That was that, that was what I was wondering. If myself, I was just going to take a punt. I was just going to build the oil. I was going to leave myself a certain amount of gap in the middle for a bus. Then build the sec the bottom half of whatever I'd built up here. I was just going to copy it, and then I was just going to deal with the the science. But I might be able to do it so that I can weasel my way through. That might not be a terrible idea. Hmm. All right. New plan of action is to build some oil. Probably only the top half. Then I can leave the bus and just play around with that. Because again, still don't really know where stuff's going and what's doing and anything else. Build some sort of temporary science setup. Feed that to my starter base. Unlock all of the oxygens and the... Yeah, it still feels like a lot to do. Because in order to turn the base on, I'm going to have to build some sort of perimeter wall. some A better perimeter wall. Okay, well, I think that's the direction I'm going to be moving towards. Set up some sort of temporary science. Yeah, I think that might work. I think that might work well. Just, just, yeah. I, I, I like that. That's what I'm going to do. So, next thought process is, well, how much oil do I want to process? That's the next thing. How many ore refineries... You know, what am I going to plan for? And really, the only thing the only thing I can grasp to is just normal vanilla. So, what would I... If, this was the, if I was building this base in vanilla with this amount of iron and copper, what oil would I be looking to... What amount of oil would I be looking to process? How many, what, how many refineries would I be looking for? Uh, and this is my spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet I referred to earlier. This is my vanilla one. I haven't made a crestory one. Still no plans to. Um, and I just, I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to make. I'm just going to. So what I've got, here, what I'm making in this new in this Crestorio factory is 360 iron and 360 copper. And what I've tried to do, what I've actually failed. What I will try to do was to line this up. So this is 360, but the copper's wrong. Let me just play with that a second. What would that need to be? 120. Even less than that, 115, 118. Let's call it 117. 117 SPM. In order to get 117 SPM, I need 51.01 refineries. Now, let's see how that goes down on the map because I want more than that, obviously. Because I don't know whether this is going to be accurate. I don't know whether this is going. It could be completely wrong. I could be completely, completely wrong on this one. 
Um, this is just a this is a real big punt from my perspective. So yeah, I might I might but I'm probably going to build more just so I'm on the safe side. But this is what I'm aiming for, just to give you some sort of context on how I'm working this stuff out. Although this is the first time I've used this SPM spreadsheet for this base, I'm not going to be using it again. I'm using it purely to work out how many refineries I need. Although I might be coming back to it to to use it for the chemical plants as well, depending on what those recipes might be. If I, they might might be different, who knows? Anyway, that's what I'm. This is what I'm going to be aiming for. All right, so probably not all that much happened in that little shot of the time lapse. I have just watched it. It's it, you know a fair amount happens, but you know. It's all the stuff that's relatively straightforward. It's the stuff that, you know, anyone with any sort of familiarity with vanilla will know. Um, but, you know, off screen, away from the time lapse, a whole load of stuff has been happening. Um, I will take you through it. Let me just take you through the oil for a moment. So, I mean, we've just got basic normal setup. We've got oil either side. We've got these are the balancers. So these are the things that will turn heavy oil into light oil and then light oil into petroleum. Um, uh, the oil will come down some somewhere down the middle and then just like I'm having the train stations for these things above these blocks so I'll have the train station for iron up here and the train station for copper and the train station for rare metals and I'll do the same but I'll do it on the bottom so I'll have this block that comes out here and then I'll have some train stations down here that will feed the oil in and that will go to the relevant parts where it needs to go to now in terms of numbers you know I've it's probably nowhere near what I actually planned out. I mean, what was it, 52, I think, was the number of oil refineries? What have I actually got? 72. Ah, right. 40, 30, 40 percent more. It will get the job done. That's really, you know, that's all that really matters. Um, proportionately, who knows if it's about right, but it will definitely get the job done. Then as we move, move our way across, we've got what will become plastics. That's what these three are up here. Um, then we've got sulfur. Sulfuric acid, and then just because I had a gap that I needed to fill, I've put solid fuel in here, and then eventually proper fuel, which would allow me to start using a vehicle. I mean, I made a car. Where is it? I put it. I made a car. I don't know. Out dozens of hours ago, I put it down. I was like, oh, let's find some fuel. Oh, you can't put wood in it. Can't put coal in it. You got to have some special kind of fuel. It's been really annoying not having a car. <laughs> just so once i've got all this set up i will have access to a car and i can start whizzing my way around the base a bit better now that's what i've done down here for the oil um but i've also been busy doing other things um so if we look at the base what i have i've set up a proper perimeter wall no, proper perimeter wall it's a temporary perimeter wall it's a perimeter wall with a single conveyor belt loop that i'm just dumping red ammunition onto and then I've powered it so that wherever the biters may attack me, the moment they attack me, I'll just repair the wall and then dump down a bundle of turrets in that specific location. And then as they attack me more and more, I'll just continually add to the wall and it will grow and develop as from there. Um, it's going to get need to get bigger. This is absolutely not the final one. But it's I need I need once if I'm going to turn this thing on, it's going to start making a whole load of noise. I need some sort of mechanisms to start protecting myself because at this point in time, or at least up until this moment, I didn't have anything. So that was the first thing that I've done. Uh, the second thing that I've done is I've tried to set up some sort of power because obviously if I start switching this thing on, I'm going to need a whole load of power. Which at the moment the only thing I'm powering is my starter factory. So um, I've 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 started to use this patch of coal. I've rooted the coal all the way up here. It's it's in a path, um, just because it's out of the way. That's what that's another thing that these paths allow me to do. I can root temporary things through them, and then I can just take them down, and it will be a path in the fullness of time. Um, and then I've rooted them, so I've rooted the coal all the way to the top. So train stations. This is where my coal is. Train stations are going to be. They're going to be up here. Um, it is a little bit unfortunate that the only coal, significant cut patch of coal I have is this one down here. But it, it, it does look like it's conveniently, conveniently located within the bus. 
So I should be able to work my way around it. I can still build a factory. It won't get in the way of the factory. So I've routed it all the way up here, which is where the, the train station will, have, will eventually be, because that's what I've... I've, I've routed all of the conveyor belts through the main bus to come down from this point for coal. So all of the, I've got like four or six conveyor belts in the bus running down and dedicated for coal. So the coal almost needs to come all the way up to be able to come back down, to be able to feed through the, the, the system of conveyor belts that I'm going to build for it. A little bit contrived, a little bit over the top, but anyway. Um, power, I've got some power up here. Um, I'm probably going to need more power, but I've got it set up. I can add to it as and when. That's not a problem. Um, and what else have I done? I've rooted a few little things. That's probably about it, to be honest, significant-wise. Um, what I'm going to start doing now is switching it on. Um, start plumbing some stuff through it. Yeah, let's start. Let's start. Let's get some blue research. got a similar sort of situation as the last time I chatted to be honest whereby most of the stuff that's happened has been happening off screen um, so I mean I've set up everything up I've got I mean, this is going to be an issue you know the time lapse there's going to be a point where I'm going to need to do a lot of work on the factory and that's and it's not going to be in shot I, I'm going to do my best anyway everything's set up now um, or at least moving stuff around the way that it should do there's been a few mistakes along the way I had a few pipes that I'd set up wrong and I'd mixed a few liquids unnecessary, um, yeah, that I didn't want to do. Anyway, it's all going fine now. Um, but elsewhere in the factory, because I've now got access to plastic, I've now got access to red chips, and I've also got access to sulfuric acid. That's what this is doing over here. So all of those things combined, I now have blue science. So I can start researching. I can start researching the advanced oil processes. They're going to come in really useful. Um, what I've also noticed, this is a new, another new, th the, the, what seems to happen in Crestor, what seems to be the case in Crestoria is that the shift, the, um, the way that you, the, 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 the normal process, the, the way, the point that you reach normal elements is, is changed. Like I've got access to reinforced concrete much, much earlier than normal, but I don't have access to a car. Um, and the same is true of power. Like I've got access, now that I've got blue science, I've got access to nuclear power. And I've got sulfuric acid, so I can mine that uranium. And I've got a nice patch of uranium right over here. So, nuclear power has now got on my radar. Like, that might be the next thing I need to start thinking about. Well, no, actually, to be honest, the next thing I need to start thinking about is all of the gases and the acid and the, the, all of that stuff. I've got a list of all of the stuff I need somewhere. I've had a bit of a clear out because I had to do some work this week. So <laughs> none of the bits of paper are where they should be. Um, so yeah, nuclear power on my radar. Where's it going to go? Don't know yet. Now this gap that I left behind to be clear, that's looking very inviting. There's a bit of water. There's even a bit of patch of water for me to use. Uh, that that I think that would be nuclear power right there. I can bring the trains in. I can have my train stations here. I've got access to all this water. I need to clear a few nests. That's a long way away. So nuclear power is on my radar. That's that's cool. All right. So first things up though. First things up is um, gases. I need to hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen chloride, ammonia, chlorine. Is it ammonia? Oh, I'll figure it out. All of that stuff I can now research, and that's what I'm going to be getting on with. But, unfortunately, for this episode, that stuff will have to come in the next one. I hope it's been interesting. I hope it's been entertaining. Till next time.